about Nintendo, you never cease to confuse me at times. I mean, there, there's... If you saw the thumbnail of this video and you saw the title, you know what it's going to be, but today's uh, about Nintendo's absolutely ridiculous YouTube policies and how really fucking stupid they are. <clears throat> so, in case you don't know, Nintendo has this policy where you can't use anything with Nintendo IPs in your YouTube videos or else they'll copyright strike you and they'll take it down. And as anyone knows that uses YouTube, the, the YouTube... Um, copyright strike system is so fucking flawed that I could talk about how shit it is for days, but it, let's just leave it at it's incredibly flawed and everyone abuses it and Nintendo is one of those people. So I'm going to get into some, more, some, into some more stuff as to why this is completely ridiculous and why they're actually sort of hurting themselves by doing this, but they're taking people's videos down just for playing their games. So let's say people... I'm gonna use Super Mario Maker for uh, for this example. Um, let's say someone wants a bunch of other people. They've got a lot of subscribers. They want other people to see their level that they've made in Super Mario Maker. Okay, cool. So they put up the code and they put up gameplay. And okay, that's all well and good until Nintendo sees that and then they take it down because fuck knows why. I mean, it's just some guy playing a game on YouTube. It's fucking harmless. It's free advertisement for your game, guys. But they take it down, and you get a copyright strike on your channel. Um, and if you get three copyright strikes, you're done. Your, your your channel is gone. So trying to put any footage of any Nintendo game on your channel is extremely risky, and that's why in my Wii U review I was about to do it, and then I said, fuck no, sorry, I can't. Because they were just going to take it down, and I was going to get a copyright strike. I guarantee you it was going to happen. Even I know I'm as... My channel ain't shit. I've got 30 subscribers. I'm not shit. But I know these guys just fucking hunt it down. They just look for it. I swear to fuck. They just look for it. They hunt for it. I swear they got a team of people looking for this shit. I don't know if that's true, but it, it fucking seems like it. So, you know. So, let, 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 let me get on to why this is... Even more why this is ridiculous. Um, so Nintendo, this is this is I'm gonna talk directly to you for a little bit here, and you have so many smart individuals at your company. You have people that have made the gaming industry what it is today. You have Miyamoto, you had Iwata, you have people like Masahiro Sakurai. You have all of those people. Yet you have people in your company that are stupid enough to stop people putting YouTube videos up with your IP in it. And what's so ridiculous is about this, about this is that you can profit from this stuff. More exposure means that you're going to sell more units. That is a fact. If you have more market exposure, you are going to get your name out there more. And by doing so, people are going to say, oh, that looks really cool. I can't get this anywhere else. I better buy a Wii U. You know, you get more exposure, you get more customers. You get more customers, you make more money. You make more money, your profit goes up. Your profit goes up, you make your investors happy. Everyone wins, including the people uploading the videos. And so I don't understand how you can have people in these... It's like so contrasting. You have people in your company that are geniuses, that have made the gaming industry what it is today. And then you have people that are so idiotic that they don't understand the value of free advertisement and how the internet can benefit your company. It's 2016, people. Come on. It's 2016. This is the internet age. This is where everything is online. Everything is fucking online. <laughs> everything. You can do anything online. And the fact that you're restricting this is absolutely fucking insane. You could be legitimately making money from YouTube. That's free advertisement. You're going to get your name out there. You're going to push more units out. You're probably not going to sell 10 trillion units, obviously, but you're going to push more units out and you're going to recover your brand name like you probably should after, you know, how bad the Wii U is doing right now. So, you know, stop being fucking arrogant. I mean, I know there's this whole partner program that you have, but then I believe if... I believe in Nintendo's partner program that if you sign up for that, they claim all of the stuff you make is their own, and they say that it's their content, even though it's not, because you made it. So that's some bullshit, and I've heard that there's other flaws with that system, but that's pretty much the only way you can post Nintendo-related stuff anywhere, 
without getting copyright striked. And, I mean, Jesus Christ, guys, come on. Come the fuck on. It's 2016. I mean, if, you, if you're, like, completely foreign to the whole YouTube, con you know, concept, then you seriously need to get some new people in there. And I'm pretty sure Kamishima isn't that fucking stupid. In fact, I know he's not that stupid. And I have a feeling that Kamishima is going to say, what the fuck are you people doing? Open up YouTube. Let him have it. Because we're going to make money off of it. I mean, it, it, it is a fact. It is a fact that if a big-name YouTuber plays your game and your console, other people are going to be compelled to buy that game or console. That is a fact. More exposure means more sales. That is just how it is. That's how it is. If more people see your product, more people are going to buy it, and that is a fact. Unless your product is complete shit, which believe me, it is not. And you have that 100% going for you. The Wii U is a fucking phenomenal console. It's brilliant. But you're not letting it get the exposure it needs. One, you're not marketing it well enough. Two, you're not letting people post stuff on YouTube. And that's just hurting you. You're hurting yourself because of your own fucking arrogance, and that's your problem. But when it becomes our problem as gamers, is when you're coming after us and you're biting the hand that feeds you. You piss off the people that play your games, they're gonna stop playing your games, and then you're going to lose even more money, because they're not going to give in to your bullshit anymore, and they're gonna boycott you, which will eventually happen if you keep this shit up. And I know that's an extreme example, but it will happen if you keep this bullshit up. So my best advice to you right now is to open up the airwaves, so to speak, of for YouTube. Because that's one way that you're going to help more units get in homes. And if you don't understand that, then continue to let yourself sag. But th this is... If, and I'm not the only one saying this. Pretty much everyone else that's ever wanted to upload something to YouTube that's your intellectual property, they've gotten it taken down, obviously. And they're going to say the same thing. I want to be able to upload this. This is really cool. I want people to see it. Why is this such a problem? You're getting exposure. It's not like we're stealing a game from you. It's uh, let's take let's take Smash Brothers. On the fucking cover of the game and on the title screen, it says copyright 2014 Nintendo. Not 2014, some random fucking guy playing the game. If it says something like that, if someone modifies the game or the artwork or whatever, and they say it's theirs, and it's not, that's when you have the right to take it down, because it is not their property, and they are claiming that it is. That's when you have the right to take it down. But no one is fucking doing that. They're just trying to upload stuff, because they want to do Let's Plays, or they want to, they want someone to see their fucking level on Super Mario Maker. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. They're not trying to steal your intellectual property. And... It just blows my fucking mind, again, that some people in this company are so smart, and yet, again, some of them are so fucking stupid. But, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't even understand how there would be any legitimate reasoning behind this, 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 this train of thought. I mean, it's ridiculous. The internet makes you money if you use it to your advantage. And if you just say, fuck off, internet, you're not gonna get anything out of it, and m mostly, in 2016, you're gonna lose money. You guys know what you're doing. Kamishima especially. You know what you're doing, man. <laughs> so just, you know, cut us some fucking slack. Let us upload some, you know, let, let us upload your, you know, footage of your IPs. Because we're not stealing it. We're just using it. And we're giving you free advertisement in the process. So, I want, I want this video to go around. I want you to share this video. I could care the fuck less how many subscribers I get. Or how many views I get. Well, I care about the views, obviously, but... I could get no subscribers from this, and I don't give a single fuck. I just want this message to get out, and I want it to go fucking everywhere. Share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, share it on fucking Google+, Plus. share it on anything, because I need Nintendo to hear me. And I'm a fucking nobody, but I need them to hear me, and I need them to hear you. So maybe try and do something yourself. Get the message out there. Tweet at them on Twitter. Do something like that. And this brings me back to the whole give us Shenmue 3 thing, because, um, remember the Shenmue Thunderclap, it's like, you, everyone annoyed Sega, and annoyed, you know, all, I believe it was, um, Yu Suzuki, they, they all annoyed the shit out of him, basically by sending a fucking mirage of tweets, 
because you sign up on this on this thing and then it automatically sends the tweet for you on the day that you know it you should you know be sending this out and so they get a shit ton of tweets at one time saying give us this give us this give us this give us this i think we should do that with nintendo i want to get like a shit ton of people together have some sort of system where you know you put in your email address and you put in your twitter information and it just sends nintendo a tweet hey fuck wad let us upload youtube videos I want to I wanna see if that happens. I want to try and petition that. I wouldn't know how to do that myself, obviously, because I'm no programmer or anything. But I want to see that happen. I, w I really, really want to see that happen. Because I want to see sort of a democratic rise, uh, like rising against, you know, this fucking arrogance. Because it's ridiculous. And Nintendo, I love you as a company. You're fucking great. I love your games. I love your IPs. I love pretty much everything about you except for some of the stupid shit you've done like this. So, like I said, this is my message from me directly to you. Stop being fucking arrogant. Don't copyright strike this video because you know it's going to be bullshit if you do. And I'm just going to call you out more for it. And three... Just let us fucking upload shit. It's not that big of a deal. You're getting free advertisement, you're profiting, and by profiting, you're making your investors happy. And by making your investors happy, you're going to have more investors. And when you have more investors, you have more profit. You have more money. And you will grow and become larger, and your name will get bigger. So, this has been my little rant on, you know, Nintendo's, like, fucking fascism. So, get this out there. Um... If you want to, hit that subscribe button, but I'm not really begging for it. If you want to, go ahead. If you don't, I don't fucking care. So, I'll see you guys later.